Good morning. Thank you guys for being here with us this morning. Uh, it's an honor and a privilege to be able to honor these five young men and women who have made the decision to enlist in one of the branches of the uh, armed forces upon graduation. My name is Phil Joseph. I'm our assistant athletic director here at Coleraine High School. And uh, here in just a few moments, we will have members of our administration speak, as well as obviously representatives from the respective branches. Um, and at which point, uh, when they completed their, their opportunity to speak, we will uh, deliver the oath of enlistment to these individuals. And after that, we'll have an opportunity to take some photos. Uh, we've got some refreshments and things like that in the administrative conference room, and you're welcome to uh, join us with, with there for, for that. Uh, and enjoy the morning and, and celebrate the decision that, that these five have, have made. Uh, with that being said, I'm not going to take very long up here. My message this morning is probably the most obvious one of all, which is simply to say thank you uh, to, to these five for making the decision, whether it's something that you have, has been a lifelong dream for you or something that you've sort of stumbled upon in these last few months. Uh, you know, it is a decision that you should be proud of and that we're all very proud of, and so I thank you for that. And I thank the families who I, I know uh, you know, it's probably a little bit of a bittersweet morning at some time uh, and on some level, but uh, I want to thank you for raising such fine young men and women who uh, have made that decision and for sharing them and supporting them uh, in that decision. And, and just know that, you know, that there are people all over the world who are grateful for the, the service that they are going to do and, and the work that they're going to do. We've had this ceremony here for six years, and with these five, we've now had 79 of our students who have enlisted in one of the branches of the armed forces. And so that uh, goes to show that, that our students here at Coleraine are not just making an impact on their community, but all around the country and in fact, all around the world. So that's something that we're very proud of and that I know you will continue that legacy uh, that, that has gone on now for several years. So with that, uh, I would like to introduce our first speaker of the morning, our superintendent of Northwest Local Schools, Mr. Todd Bowling. <clears throat> I'd like to thank you, first of all, for the opportunity to speak this morning. Um, it's the first time as superintendent I've been able to attend the, the Armed Forces recognition. Um, I know for parents, sometimes this is a decision that can be difficult for you, um, but it is a decision, and I'm very proud of these five young men and women um, who are going to continue their career and provide freedoms for us that um, some of us sometimes take for granted. Um, it is an honor to be here up with you. Um, it is an honor to recognize you. And um, as representatives of graduates of Coleraine High School, we couldn't be prouder of what you have decided to do with your careers. And we wish you nothing but the, the best as you move forward. So again, congratulations to you and your parents. And uh, good luck. The president of our Northwest Local School District School Board, Mrs. Pam Detzel. Good morning. Um, first of all, I wanted to welcome all of you here and just let you know this, this is one of the very special moments, especially as a board member, to get to be a part of. Um, I will say of all the things that, that, that we attend, to, to be able to be here and see these five young men and women that are mature enough to already know what they want in their future, um, it, it, it's just wonderful. Um, again, with the parents, you've all done such a fine job raising, raising these five. And probably one of my favorite things through graduation is when um, these five will be recognized the night of graduation. There, there's a lot of things that go on in that night. The kids all get their diplomas, and a lot of them don't really know what they're going to do once they leave. But to know that you've raised five that know what their path is, is wonderful. So I want to congratulate all of you, um, wish you the best of luck, and thank you now. Um, as, as, a, as a mom, as a community member, thank you so much for dedicating and, and your service to this community. We're all very, very proud of you. Thank you. Principal of Coleraine High School, Dr. Crystal Interney. Thank you. Good morning. 
We are very proud to live in a country of matchless freedoms, and it is largely due in part to our wonderful military. So to our students, thank you for making such a positive decision that will have such a positive impact on our great nation. To our parents, thank you so much for encouraging your students to follow their dreams and motivating them to pursue the military. And so again, we thank you for joining us this morning. Students, we thank you for having a positive impact on your community as well as your nation. I wish you great success and safety in your endeavors. Congratulations and good luck. Thank you. From the United States Army, Staff Sergeant Whitting. All right, thank you, especially uh, family members, uh, the fine young men and women right here before us, and the distinguished guests to my right. Uh, right now, we're going to recognize two of the Army's uh, fine outstanding students who heard the nation's call and wanted to enlist in the United States Army Reserves to uh, defend and support this fine uh, nation of ours. Private Cameron Biggs enlisted in Army Reserves into the 377th MP Company as a military police. Uh, after uh, his training, uh, he has plans of going to Ohio University and then eventually becoming an officer in the ROTC program. Uh, Private Caitlin Cunanan enlisted into the 372nd Military Intelligence Battalion as a wheel vehicle mechanic, and uh, she also signed up with an $8,000 bonus and a $200 kicker that got added to her reserve GI Bill. Uh, the one thing that stood out the most to me about Private Cunanan is besides uh, both of these two individuals who wanted to serve their country is she wanted to be a role model for all women out there and enlisted in the Army Reserves. To me, these two soldiers are the best examples of what the Army has to offer and they embody the core Army values that you see right behind them. So, uh, Coloring High School, Private Cunanan, and uh, Private Biggs. Thank you. From the United States Marine Corps, Sergeant Pinos. Um, good morning, thank you for having me here. Um, today I have the great honor and pleasure of presenting two outstanding individuals, Terrence uh, Richard and Johnson Dominique. They've both come a long way with their mental training and physical training aspect. Uh, they've both decided to one go to boot camp in September and the other one go to boot camp in June. Um, I know they will be very, very great individuals as United States Marines. Thank you. And from the United States Navy, Petty Officer Foley. Thank you for having me. Um, we will be sending off Miss Ferry into the Navy, into the IT field. She's a very high intelligent young lady that I'm absolutely sure she'll want to do amazing things through her career and see some amazing places. Um, after her, she will be leaving to boot camp in August they're heading down to, I believe, Pensacola, Florida for her A school as an IT. Um, thank you. This time it'll be, uh, we'll have the opportunity for them to uh, have their oath of enlistment and, and uh, as I said afterwards, we'll have opportunity for photos and all of those kind of things. So again, I want to thank everybody for coming this morning and being a part of this. Um, and so at this point, it's my privilege to introduce Lieutenant Colonel Pritchard Allen from the United States Army. First and foremost, I thank you all for allowing us to be here today. This is truly an honor to be able to represent the military and thanking these young men and women for stepping up to the plate and taking the challenge to support their country uh, and defending people that they'll never meet. And so that's something that is truly a sacrifice and we're honored to have them be amongst us in the military. So with that, we're gonna actually have them stand because the official portion of this is to stand and actually repeat after me. So if we can have everyone stand that's over at the table. Now I'll tell you this while they're standing, I was right in their place doing that very nervous heart pounding 
And 27 years later, I'm still hanging in there having fun. So this is definitely an exciting time for them. So with that, I'll have all of you raise your right hand. You gotta repeat after me. I state your name. Do solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, and that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And I will obey the orders of the President of the United States and the orders of the officers appointed over me according to the regulations and the Uniform Code of Military Justice. So help me God. Congratulations, God. All right, families, friends, you guys are welcome to take some photos. I know we'll probably want to take some photos out in front of the building and things like that. And uh, as I mentioned, we have refreshments in the main office here. Uh, you guys are welcome to stay and celebrate. And I thank you again for being here. And I wish you guys all the best of luck and congratulate you once again. Thank you, guys.